So in recent years, 3D mammography has come to our area, and we're very lucky that there are centers in Orange County that offer 3D mammography uh, to all of our patients. And the difference is that when we take a 2D mammogram, now, one step backwards, all of our mammography is digital. So that's the first assumption, is that we don't perform film mammography in the majority of our centers. And once you are having a digital mammogram, the experience to the patient for a 2D, typical digital mammogram, is the same. Patient comes in, has the breast compressed from top to bottom and from side to side on each side, and we take a picture that we then read on a specialized computer screen. When you have a 3D mammogram, in addition to taking that standard 2D picture, the uh, machine also takes a series of little slices so that instead of just looking at the book from top to bottom when we look at your breast tissue, we can look at that book and see if we see anything, and then we can look through the pages of that book. So the machine will reconstruct thin little slices for us so that we can try and see if anything is hiding in that breast tissue that we might not see when we look at just a 2D mammogram. Now, as you can imagine, in a patient that does not have dense breast tissue, a 2D mammogram may be perfectly sufficient. On the other hand, in a patient that has very dense breast tissue, the 3D mammogram can, in some patients, allow us to see something that the 2D mammogram may have covered with normal tissue. So it's a wonderful tool that we have. It is not something that every patient absolutely has to have in order to have a good mammogram done, but it's something that we use in either dense-breasted patients or sometimes to look at a specific area that we're concerned about, and it has proved amazingly helpful. Uh, it can also reduce what we call a callback. We talked earlier about how when you have a screening mammogram, sometimes we have to have people come back for extra pictures of a particular area. In most cases, that extra visit tends to turn out to be normal. So what we were looking at initially was not a true abnormality, but a possible density, for example, that when we looked at that particular area with special pictures turned out to be okay. With the 3D screening mammogram, if we look at those slices before we make a decision, we might be able to say, oh, that isn't anything from the beginning and save that patient a second visit. The second visit tends to cause patients a lot of worry and anxiety. They're very happy when they're told that that second visit turned out to be normal, but we would love to prevent the second visit in the first place. And 3D mammography allows us to do that in many patients.